Hey, everybody. Hey, Dan. Hi. Or was, I, was I the only one that got lost? I think so. Oh, great. Get some water. Here. Well, I hope I don't have to call in. We'll see. Where's your vineyard, Rosara? Oh, it's in Lake County. Oh, okay. Uh, in Kelseyville, so. Okay. Okay, I was just thinking what the people in Calistoga are gonna do this year. I mean, some of them do irrigate their grapes and they can't dig very deep wells because of the boron and hot water and you know sometimes they get a quarter gallon a you know an hour kind of thing yeah yeah not good not good and there's a yeah that's more so in in northern in northern calistoga huh or is it just around the whole area yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Hi, Claudia. Welcome. Dry land. Were you raising your hand? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I was just to be promote promoting. you. Yeah, okay, great. I, I'm good. Thank you so Hi, much. Adam. Okay, thank uh -huh. you. I will add you as uh, interpreters here shortly. Anybody know if Marika is going to join us or not? I'm on the phone with her right now and I'm getting her the link. Okay. Um, so my connection just died a few seconds ago. So that 1669 number will get me in. I think so, John. <laughs> <laughs> you may need one of these, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your, your meeting ID number. <laughs> Never done it over the phone. I was having some technical difficulties, but we're good to go now, John. Uh, whenever All you're right. ready, um, unless we're missing anybody. Okay, well, uh, thank you for coming to the uh, St. Lena City Planning Commission of May 8th, 2021. Uh, there's a paragraph we need to hear, get here before we get rolling. In accordance with Executive Order N29-20 and guidance from the California Department of Public Health on gatherings, remote public participation is allowed. We will address the order in the following ways. Members of the public may not physically attend meetings Planning Commission meeting will be live streamed on Comcast Channel 28 and on the city's, city's website, barring technical difficulties. Those members of the public wishing to participate must do so remotely via Zoom electronic meetings in the following ways, either by logging onto the Zoom link located on the meeting agenda, please download the app to your computer or mobile device and enter the meeting ID or by calling a listed number and entering the meeting ID. Public comment for planning commission meetings will be accepted via email to public comment at cityofsthelena.org. All public comments must be emailed by 4 p.m. prior to the meeting. Emailed public comments will not be read aloud, but will be publicly available and attached to the online planning commission agenda. Uh, Ms. Camaro, you had some additional information? 
Um, yes, I do chair Pont. Give me one second to share my screen and pull up the information. So for members of the public wishing to participate uh, during public comment, you may do so by uh, dialing 669-900-6833. Um, at the prompt, you can enter the meeting ID 5254449323. You can press pound and during public comment, you can press nine to speak. Um, additionally, tonight's meeting will have live Spanish interpretation. To access the interpretation, you will need to use a Zoom application from either your cell phone, tablet or computer Instructions on how to use the Zoom app are listed in English and Spanish on the agenda posted on the city's website. Once you join the meeting from the Zoom application, you will see a small globe at the bottom or top of the screen. You can click the globe and you should be able to access the live interpretation. Marcy and Claudia are our interpreters for this evening. And uh, that will be all, Chair Pond. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Camaro. Um, Commissioner Rothfeld, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll call this meeting to order. Um, Ms. Gamera, will you take the roll, please? Thank you, Chair Pont. Uh, Commissioner Ann? Here. Commissioner Segura? Here. Commissioner Rothfeld? Here. Vice Chair Hale? Here. And Chair Pont? Here. So that takes us to the public forum. Uh, this is the opportunity for members of the public to address the commission on items that are of interest to the public that are not listed on the agenda. Uh, because of restrictions imposed by the Brand Act, the Commission may not engage in or discuss or take action on matters not described on the agenda. Please observe the time limit of four minutes. Do we have anybody who wishes to speak? Ms. Camaro. Um, I do not see any hands up for uh, the public forum, Chair Pont. All right, thank you. Um, that takes us to consent items. Uh, members of the commission or the public may ask that any items be considered individually for purposes of considering alternative action for extended discussions or for public comment. Unless that is done, one motion may be used to adopt all recommended actions. Uh, we only have the minutes of April 6th on consent items. Does any member of the commission care to pull that item for additional discussion? Seeing none, Ms. Camaro, is there any note from a member of the public who wishes to have that item pulled? I do not see any hands up from members of the public, Chair Pont. All right, then a motion would be in order. A motion yes, to approve the minutes. Do we have a second? Uh, you're muted, Rosara. I second. Thank you. Um, Ms. Camara, will you take the count on this, please? Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. Vice Chair Hale? Yes. And uh, Chair Pont? Yes. Uh, we have no public hearings tonight, but we do have a scheduled matter. Uh, consideration and proposed approval of a resolution determining that the fiscal year 2021-22 capital improvement program is in conformance with the general plan. Uh, director DeRosa, you're gonna turn it right over to our interim public works director. Indeed, let's go get um, Mr. Wenger. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening and presenting this and take it away. You're welcome and good evening. Chairman and Commissioners, uh, it's John Wanger. I haven't been in front of you very much, but 
Tonight, I get the pleasure of bringing um, the annual capital improvement program to you. Uh, as mentioned in the staff report, the government code requires that uh, there be findings made by the, by the planning commission each year to ensure that the projects listed in the capital improvement program are consistent with the general plan. So attached to uh, the staff report, <clears throat> there are a couple of different things. Um, one is a resolution um, to make your findings, hopefully at the end of the presentation. And then secondly is a list of <clears throat> a number, <clears throat> excuse me, a number of different capital projects that are scheduled for activity in um, fiscal year 21-22. I do want to make one uh, correction and uh, Chairman Pont actually brought this to my attention and it was very astute. Under the roadway projects, it's projects R22-79, R23-79, R24-79, and R25-79 under the, the streets project. Those projects actually will not be worked on um, during fiscal year 21-22. Those are actually future projects for, for paving projects uh, that are scheduled in future years. And those mistakenly got on there. I didn't, I didn't catch it and I didn't let um, the finance director who helped me out with this uh, know. So I just wanted to make that correction before we got started. But um, anyway, um, with that correction, um, Ms. Camaro, do you have the PowerPoint presentation by any chance ready? Um, uh, would you like to share your uh, screen, John, or would you like me to do so and you let me know how to run through the PowerPoint yourself? Uh, if you give me a second. I have the PowerPoint presentation if you need me to pull that up. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see, give me one second here when this opens. If not, I would be more than happy to share my screen in the okay. uh, We should have, you see that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Um, so as I mentioned, this is this is for the CIP capital improvement program um, within the fiscal year um, 21-22. Um, in the list, you're going to see uh, 46 CIP projects proposed in fiscal year 21-22. Those range um, anywhere from civic projects, meaning buildings and and uh, city facilities to streets um, and in the streets category, we also have included some storm drain projects. Uh, we have a number of wastewater projects as well as a number of water projects. Um, and as I mentioned, that's gonna get corrected instead of 16 street projects, it actually moves down to 12. So that would bring the overall number to 42. 33 of those projects are currently um, scheduled to be delivered in 21, 22. Um, those include six civic projects totaling uh, 1.4 million. And those on the, on the list that are detailed with the staff report, those are the projects that begin with C uh, and it's a heading of civic projects. There are nine street projects um, that start with the R designation. And those total about 12, a little under 12 and a half million. Um, there are 14 water projects. Uh, that start with uh, W, or excuse me, with, uh, yes, with W. And then um, there are four wastewater projects totaling uh, about 14.6 million uh, for the wastewater projects. As far as the projects highlight, uh, highlights go, um, there are several projects, as I mentioned, within each, within each category. One of the most important ones under the civic projects is we are looking at installing emergency backup power at the library, the Madrone Knoll pump station, the Wellfield um, uh, flood control project sites and the water treatment plant. And as I'm sure everyone remembers the devastating fires from last year, that, that certainly plays a very important role um, in keeping the city functioning if we ever have such a disaster again. 
Under the street projects, um, we have the annual paving project. <clears throat> We've also got projects proposed uh, for pedestrian, <clears throat> excuse me, for pedestrian crosswalk improvements on Main Street. We've got the Mills Lane storm drain project that's associated with the Farmstead project. A portion of that the city is actually um, paying for. We've got the downtown sidewalk uh, project. And then we've also got the Grayson <clears throat> and South Crane improvement project. With respect to the water projects, um, probably the biggest two are the Bell Canyon Reservoir improvements. We're doing a number of different projects uh, in that facility, <clears throat> as well as at the Rutherford pump station, which is the main pump station that we draw water um, that comes up the uh, line from city of Napa that helps provide a lot of our water. <clears throat> and under the wastewater project, I just wanted to highlight we're probably about four weeks away from actually bidding the wastewater treatment plant upgrade project, which is about a, a 12 to $13 million major project that will upgrade uh, the wastewater treatment plant to tertiary treatment. And we're going, going to be able to use recycled water <clears throat> to go to a number of different users, including uh, some of the city's parks, which is gonna cut down on our water use. <clears throat> And that project will also be installing a pump station. As far as a general plan consistency, um, the 2040 general plan and, and policies have been identified in the CIP and the projects in fiscal year 21-22 are shown um, to be consistent with that. Um, we've provided a resolution to the staff report for your consideration. Um, the next steps that we're looking at are <clears throat> the Planning Commission makes the findings tonight, hopefully, um, that fiscal year 21-22 construct or uh, the CIP is consistent with the adopted general plan. And if the, if the uh, commission approves that, then this will move on to the City Council for adoption uh, in June. And with that, I am happy to answer any questions you may have. Does any member of the commission have any questions for the public works director? No, no, no. Um, I, 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 I've got just one, um, John, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, if I read this right, um, our remit on this one is totally based on whether or not the projects presented to us are consistent with the general plan. Our remit does not extend to modifying, deleting, or adding to that project list. Is that correct? You are correct. Okay, so our remit is, is totally restricted to, does this project list look like it's in conformance with the general plan? Correct. Um, with that, uh, Ms. Gamero, is there any member of the public who appears to wish to speak on this item? There are no members of the public who wish to speak at the moment, Chair Um Well, if there are no more members uh, of the public who wish to speak, if there's no more questions from the commissioners, um, I would assume at this point that a motion is in order. I don't hear a motion on the board from the commissioners. Everybody's on mute. Is there a good reason for that? Uh, Commissioner Vice Chair Hale. I think I'm I think I've I think I'm underway now. <laughs> Um, I, I would uh, move that we approve the resolution as, as it stands and find that, that uh, the CIP is, is uh, in conformance with the, the general plan. Is there a second to the motion? I second. The second. Uh, Ms. Camaro, will you take the roll, please? Vice Chair Hale? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Segura? Yes. Commissioner Rothfeld? Yes. And Chair Pond? Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just to item seven, department reports. Uh, Ms. DeRosa, do we have a department report? Uh, the only update I have to share with the Planning Commission is the on the Hunter subdivision. Uh, we've been continuing to work with the applicant team on revisions to their map, and now they have made all the adjustments for the most part that we've requested, and we're doing our final uh, review of the screen check EIR. Uh, we'll have the comments completed at the end of the month, and um, if there's no other issues that come up, the draft EIR could actually be released as early as sometime in June. So, of course, the commission will be uh, receiving that um, notice of availability with a link to the EIR, as would the public and all the required CEQA notifications that we do. But um, we're getting step by step a little bit closer to a, a pretty major project um, coming forward. So I just wanted to keep you in the loop. Thank you. So we should so. see this one the end of August, perhaps? Well, if the 45 day review period starts in yeah. June, there could be a public hearing as early as July. Okay. Just to thinking... take comments, not to take action on the map, but just to take comment on the EIR. Okay. Okay. Um, this is also the time for uh, any commission. I think John just froze. Uh, Commissioner Hale, do you want to step in on behalf of John about what he was uh, going through the agenda? Yeah, I'll take take the helm here. Um, so I, this is this is when any any commissioner would like to suggest uh, further or future discussion items. Do we have any? Do any other commissioners have any items that they'd like to, no? Okay, and I suppose that uh, leaves um, adjournment. Should uh, we uh, wait for Chair Pont perhaps? Maybe he has an item that he may wanna should we, um, put on the agenda. Text him or just. Oh yeah, I can, I can text him right now. Okay. We need a backup gavel. Yeah, I was I was thinking that I would like to hear him complete um, the comment that he was going to make about the project or about. So hopefully he'll call. Is there any response from John or? You, you're muted. I believe he may be trying to call in one second. Let me, or I'm not sure if that's his phone number or not. Do you have an update, uh, Maya? Zinya, if you want to promote the attendee that's the 707294 number, that is John. You can make him a panelist. Uh, I cannot make the, him a panelist for some reason. I can allow him to, to speak. So one Okay. Second. John, I you can speak now. 
Well, hello. That was a surprise. <laughs> um, Frank, we've had gotten down to uh, what used to be Lester's favorite part. Um, meeting adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Okay, thank you. Good night, Good night everyone.